on the trail. Turns out Port Leven was not the halfway point as I was told by a lady who did this last year, the year before, but she had a big motor home and her husband <laughs> driving between places for her. <laughs> anyway, I had a nice stay at that campsite, of course, pub, gold mine, <laughs> Guinness fish and chips, and I left some fish and chips for the morning for my breakfast in the night. I was robbed. Seagulls got in, or probably smaller birds than the seagulls, got in under the tent, the porch, nicked all my chips. Couldn't get into my Dyneema bag where I had um, pasta nose, but they somehow managed to wriggle the, the opening at the top, you know, the closure and they pecked a hole in the packet and they ate half of it. The other half was in the bag. So I had to clean that bag out. Beware the seagulls, beware the birds. They're thieves. They're want, you know, wanted seagull for daylight robbery, things like that. Those are no joke, yeah? These, these things are, they're smart. <laughs> anyway, today, going towards Lizard Point the halfway point is Port Fallow, not Port Leven. Yeah, I just thought, you know, how I am. I can't read nothing properly. I just quickly glance at something. I didn't even bother reading it. <laughs> it's Port, Port Fallow, not Port Leven. That's probably another day away. <laughs> Let's get going. Because today is an extremely good day to walk. I can feel it. Sun has disappeared behind clouds there's a bit of rain pack my solar panel away i'm leaving it hidden because i'm operating at 40 percent capacity so that's that's enough let's go into the sea <laughs> And just like that, normal service has been resumed in Britain. I've got my tent up. I'm hiding under these tropical trees. <laughs> this, this campsite at Lizard Point, really nice. Quite quirky, they've got ducks, they've got live music, they've got, they got a shop as well full of food. Oh, this is brilliant. Look at this. This is back to reality. <laughs> now, this is the reason why I carry full down suit. Dry suit, yeah? I think I'm going to sit in my tent now and be miserable in my soaking wet clothes, yeah? Because I only carry one set of clothes. No, no, no. 600 grams altogether. This. And this in here is heaven. It's warm as a bug. Once I put that on, I make a hot drink.
off the moon. Not had much to say today to the camera. Walking with a bit of pain in my rib. Don't know how I did it. <laughs> Probably turning over in the in the tent. But it's been noticeable for the past three days, so I'm vitamin E up and I believed up but uh, just, just can't be bothered to speak to the camera to film anything gone past the lizard gone past a few more coves on the way to the actual halfway point this halfway point seems to be getting further and further away but it's about seven miles away I think but yeah Today is not such a good day to walk for me. At last, some trail magic. For free on this god forsaken trail of money grabbing two pounds for coke everywhere you look. Tourist trap. I'm gonna fill my bottles here for free. Thank you very much, the Bay Hotel Kovrak. There is an absolutely foul stench here at the sea. I don't know what is in there, but the seagulls are all over it. I think this is some kind of dumping ground because <laughs> I smelt the same kind of smell near the fishing boats with the crab cages. You know where they catch them? Oh. You have to put your fish and chips. No. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> so it's about seven o'clock now. Down there is Cove Rack. Up there, the path where the quarry is is closed. Now I'll have to walk some kind of long diversion. I ain't gonna do that now. Daylight's running out. I found this bit here. It's National Trust land. It's hidden away from the sea because I found a better bit down there but there was like some guys on speedboats going up and down there so here I'm hidden away there is evidence of cows but I've walked these are old droppings I've walked the length of this from both gates there's no cows in here there were they're gone no cows have been munching here so hopefully it's an uneventful night Good night. Bit of a nightmare. There was cows in there. So, that's a, I kind of knew it because I didn't unpack all my stuff. I just sat in the tent and then I could hear the moose. They just appeared out of nowhere. It's about 9.15 now. The sun's nearly gone down. I've moved even closer to Kovrak. No cows here, I know that because there's a, there's a gate there, it's still on the southwest coast path, it'll have to be. Oh.